as possible. But I am going to be uh, sharing with you my predictions for the Premier League standings. So for the for my American viewers out there, I mean most of my viewers are American, so most of you guys out there don't know what the you might not know what the Premier League is. It's like Major League Soccer, but for Britain. So there's 20 teams here, so I've got all the teams listed. And I think on where they're gonna be ranked. So I'm gonna give my predictions. Uh, tell me what you think. To put it simply. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the teams that are, I think are going to get relegated this season, which is going are going to be Wolverhampton, Luton Town, and Bournemouth. Now starting with the number 20th seed with Bournemouth. I mean last season people predicted Bournemouth to get dead last, and I think this is the season where it's actually gonna happen. Because I mean, if you know anything about soccer. I uh, doesn't mean I call it that anymore. Porn move. Seriously. Yeah, I've got them in dead last. At 19th place, I've got Luton Town. Now, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against Luton Town. I think it's great what they were able to do to go from non like non league football to all the way up to the Premier League. That's why every club dreams of doing. But I don't think they're gonna be ready for. This year, so I think they're gonna get. I think what's gonna happen with them is they're gonna get relegated. They're gonna stay in the Champions League for maybe like two or three seasons to sort of build and prepare. And then once they, you know, come back, and once they get promoted again, they're gonna be a, a pretty good team. But yeah, I don't think they're gonna be. They're gonna be ready for Premier League this year. And then for my 18th seed, I've got Wolverhampton Wolves fans. I'm, I'm really sorry. I mean, their team's been on a decline for years, and I think this season's the, their, is the season that they're gonna get relegated. I feel really bad for you guys. Alright, now we go to the lower table, which is seeds 17 through 13. And in the 17th spot, I have Everton. I think they're gonna barely dodge relegation again this season. Maybe by like one win, maybe like three points, maybe. Yeah, not expecting too much from Everton this season. This season, ex except to not get relegated, barely. But yeah, in the 16th seat, I have Fulham FC. Now, I haven't been following the trade window as the trades for Premier League in the off season as much as I wanted to. But from what I know about Fulham FC, you don't really know uh, how they're gonna do until until, until the until the trade window closes but uh, as far as right now I've got them at the 16th seat am I open to being proven wrong yes do I think they're gonna do it yes do I care no I had to I, I had to make a pretty I, I had to make a prediction for this that I just happened to put full up here okay, so. so for the 15th seat I've got Burnley no Burnley has the potential to really be a great team. I just don't think that that's going to happen this year. They're, they're going to need some time to build up, but I do think that they will survive in the, in the Premier League. It just They're not going to do as well in their first season back. Alright, for the 14th seat, I have Crystal Palace. No, I'm sorry, Crystal Palace fans, but... Uh, yeah. Not much I have to say. I'm putting Crystal Palace. I'm just putting Crystal Palace at 14th, and at 13th I've got Brentford FC. Now I've heard people say that Brentford it might be good this year. I don't think so. So I'm putting some put them at 13. Uh, do I want them to prove me wrong? I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't care too much. But as the season goes on, we'll see about that. All right. Now we're at the mid-table here, and uh, the, which is seeds uh, 12 through 8, and at the 12th seed, I've got Nottingham Forest. Now, Nottingham is becoming a good team. I, th th I have kept track of that team a little bit during the, uh, during the off-season as far as our trades go, and Nottingham is getting pretty good. I don't think they're going to be quite as good just yet. I think it's going to be a bit, a bit of a stalemate season season for them as far as their growth goes, but I think this team will actually prove me, prove me wrong in this and maybe get higher. The next team I have here 
be Sheffield United. I just put Sheffield there because I needed a team to put in the 11th seed. Don't really know how the hell they'll do and what, and what not, but we'll see. Now, in the 10th spot, and this is a hard decision for me, I put West Ham United at 10th. Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a West Ham United fan. Go Irons all the way. But I've got to be a bit realistic here. We just won the, the UEFA Conference League Championship. We're going to have some burnout. And I think we're going to be at 10th this year. At 10th this year because of that burnout. So, go Irons. But we're not. But it's going to be. It's going to take this season to sort of rebuild and sort of get over that championship hangover before. Or, you know, that good, that good again. Alright, and in the next team, I have Brighton Hove and Brighton and Hove Albion. Now I know Brighton's. Now, I think Brighton's gonna be pretty good. Just saying that to say it. I mean, I mean, I don't really have any reasons why, except for the reason that I think Brighton and Hove and Albion is gonna be pretty good. Or sorry, Brighton and Hove Albion. I can't speak today, sorry. Alright, now, this. This one I gotta put some thought into the eighth seed, Aston Villa FC. No, I have seen that Aston Villa has been getting good. Has been getting good. They had, they had a pretty good off season, as far as I'm aware. They, they they've traded for some for some pretty great talent, and I, I think it's gonna take some time to really build the t- build the team off of some of the new talent they've got. But I think Aston Villa is gonna be one of the more decent teams this season. Now we move on to the conference league, the seventh seed, which I am going to give to Liverpool. As much as I'm not really a Liverpool fan, this was a hard decision to make, especially considering some of the, some of the other teams I put towards the top. I had to make some hard decisions here as far as my predictions go. But I just, but I had to settle with putting Liverpool at uh, the seventh seed in the Conference League. Now for the Europa League, the seeds six and five. I have put the sixth seed being Chelsea. They're gonna have a better season this year. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it as that. And then at the fifth seed, I've got Tottenham. A, a little fun fact about me. Not that y'all really care. But I used to be a Tottenham fan when I first got into soccer. Or football, sorry. I'm, I'm saying soccer for my American audience, so any, if so for any of my audiences around the rest of the world, I call it football, okay? Most, but most of my viewers are American, so I'm sorry. But yeah, I used to be a Tottenham, a Tottenham fan. Uh, yeah, I used to be go all over the Spurs, but uh, I don't know. I guess I just gradually lost interest in as I was looking for another team to support. Of course, West Ham United came up, but the, but the Spurs also had a bad season last year, and I think they're gonna do pretty good, do okay this year. Now, for the UCL seeds, four through two. At number four, I've got Newcastle. No, I don't think much is gonna change with Newcastle this year, just me being honest. Then at number three, I've got Man, Man United. Now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna say about Man United here. I had it in here, but I don't know why, but I, I just lost it, but I've got Man United at three. And then for number two, this is gonna be controversial. I, got, I put Manchester City at number two. I know, I know, leave your hand comments in below, but I I think Erlen I mean, besides Erling Holland and all the other talent that's on Manchester City I'm not really I don't really like Manchester City and that's part of my part of why I did, made that decision. Because I'm not a Man City fan. I, I I quite frankly, I don't really like Man City at all to be honest. I'm not going to deny that they're a good team, but I'm sorry, it's... I just don't like the team, it just seems a bit ban- bit of a bandwagon club to me. So I put... I'm not denying that the team's good. No. 
because we put them at second, which leaves me at, at my number one spot for the Premier League champion. I'm giving that to Arsenal. <sighs> now, I'm not an Arsenal fan, as you guys know, but they deserve it this year. I really think they do. And I'm, and I'm not wanting that to be proven wrong. Arsenal's winning that championship. So, yeah, that is going to be the end of this video with, now that I, that I have all 20 uh, te teams' per ranks predicted. So, uh, let me know your predictions in the comments below. Uh, comment what league I should do next. I, I really like making this video, so if there's any other leagues you want me to give my, uh, my uh, standings prediction for, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to make a video on that. But other than that, be sure to like like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications or don't it's your choice my friend and as always stay safe <laughs>